Well, meet the tiny terrors of our world. Fire ants. When they sting, they inject venom that can cause serious trouble. For most people, it's just a fiery sensation in raised bumps. But for others, especially those who are allergic to it, it's life-threatening. These ants set up their camps right under your feet. They're quick to swarm and are fiercely protective of their colonies. They show no mercy to intruders. Their stings are rated about 1.2 on the Schmidt Insect Sting Index, where 4 is the maximum. It feels like a sudden jewel, but the sensations are less burning than when a bee stings you. They originated in tropical regions like Central and South America. But now you can find them even in some temperate zones like North America. In their colonies, fire ants have a strict hierarchy – a queen, winged males and females, and different types of workers. They communicate through chemicals and sounds. The most famous member of this genus is the red imported fire ant. They've come from South America and invaded the southern US. They build large mounds, making farming difficult and damaging crops. It's almost impossible to control them. And on top of that, there's now the rise of another invasive species, the tawny crazy ant. This one poses a threat to native ecosystems. Turns out ants can be dangerously unfriendly. Colorful blister beetles are among the 10 most dangerous insects in the world. Luckily, they're not lethal to humans unless they go for you in a big pack. However, they pose a serious threat to large animals, such as horses. Blister beetles produce a toxin called cantharidin, which causes skin blistering in humans. In the past, people believed it could treat warts and even rabies, and some even used it in love potions. However, it's a risky game. In the 1950s, a man was jailed for giving cantharidin laced candies to two women, resulting in a tragic outcome. These beetles are not to be messed with. Handling them or ingesting them is very dangerous. They're attracted to alfalfa and hay. If a horse eats either of those, even a few beetles can release enough cantharidin to end it. This cute caterpillar from South America is called Linomia obliqua, and it's the most dangerous caterpillar on Earth. It's responsible for several fatalities due to its potent venom. It's the larval stage of the giant silkworm moth. When it grows up, it becomes a beautiful and harmless silkworm. But if you see them as youngsters, it's better to stay away. Its toxicity stems from venom-injecting bristles. They serve as a defense mechanism against predators. The poison messes up how your blood clots and can cause really bad symptoms like burning feelings, throwing up, kidney problems, and sometimes even lethal outcomes. A single bite probably won't lead to anything horrifying. It delivers only a tiny amount of venom. But these caterpillars tend to congregate, and they're quite good at camouflage. This increases the risk of multiple stings. Locusts themselves aren't dangerous to humans. They're ordinary, loud grasshoppers. But they're infamous for their swarming behavior. These swarms often happen when there's a dry period with no rain. And then suddenly, a lot of rain falls, and plants start growing fast. Once it begins, it's nearly impossible to stop. They can become a destructive force within minutes. Throughout history, locust plagues have been devastating, wreaking havoc on crops and farmland. What's interesting is that the term locust can mean different things depending on where you're from. In some places, we're talking about cicadas, which are also known for their loud sounds. But true locusts are ancient creatures, relatively unchanged since the Triassic era. They're among the oldest insects on Earth. Wasps, hornets, and even bees can be extremely dangerous, especially to those allergic to their stings. The Asian giant hornet is the largest of the wasps. It can reach up to 2 inches in size. It packs a powerful venom that can cause serious discomfort and even spray into people's eyes. There's an even more venomous species in the Philippines called Vespa luctuosa. Not to be confused with Expecto Patronum. Any Harry Potter fans? Anyway, fatalities because of wasps or bees are rare, but not unheard of. In the UK, about 10 people pass away each year from bee or wasp sting reactions. Always stay cautious. All these insects are very territorial and will fiercely defend their hives. When provoked, they signal danger to nearby bees and instigate a mass defense effort. If you need to handle them, 
it's best to call professionals. A flea is tiny and humble, but it left a colossal impact on human history and health. They're not just annoying pests, they're notorious carriers of various human conditions and are responsible for some of the worst outbreaks in history. Back in the 14th century, I forget where I was, but the bubonic plague wiped out over 25 million people in Europe, and fleas were a big part of spreading it. Fleas spend their lives searching for warm-blooded hosts to feed on, whether it's reptiles, mammals, pets, or humans. Despite their tiny size and absence of wings, they make up for it with impressive jumping abilities. A flea bite might seem like a minor annoyance, causing itching and inflammation. But a lot of them can lead to anemia in their hosts. Of course, the most dangerous part about them is the viruses, bacteria, and worms they transmit. Kissing bugs mostly live in both Americas, with smaller populations in Africa and Asia. Despite the friendly name, they're great at passing on bacteria, viruses, and parasites. One of the parasites they carry is Trypanosoma cruzi. It's the culprit behind illnesses that affect millions globally and claim thousands of lives each year. What's interesting is that symptoms don't often appear until 10 or 30 years after being bitten. They typically manifest as heart failure, digestive issues, or nervous system problems. They don't actually kiss you, they suck on you and are attracted to their prey by breath. If you breathe through your mouth, you're a target. They're messy biters, often biting chaotically and almost uncontrollably, which only adds to their unsettling nature. Many have heard of the tsetse fly, an unusual and scary insect from tropical Africa. These flies are carriers of one of the most devastating human diseases, sleeping sickness. Similar to the kissing bug, the tsetse fly transmits trypanosomes, the parasites that cause sleeping sickness. They acquire this parasite from an infected host or from within the fly's own body. Sleeping sickness doesn't strike immediately. After a bite, it takes one to three weeks for symptoms to appear. Fever, headaches, joint pains, and itchiness. As the illness progresses, it can invade the nervous system, leading to confusion, insomnia, and loss of balance. Without treatment, it can result in a coma and then a fatal outcome. Luckily, sleeping sickness can be treated and the number of losses is declining. The tsetse fly holds historical significance too. Its presence has hindered European colonial expansion in Africa. And the crown of the most dangerous insect in the world goes to… the mosquito. It's no surprise why. Despite their small size, they wield a massive impact. They're not only responsible for more human losses annually than any other animal, but they've also left an indelible mark on history. These little insects influenced the rise and fall of entire civilizations. For example, malaria significantly weakened ancient civilizations such as in Rome and Greece. What's interesting is that it's not just the mosquitoes themselves that are dangerous, but the parasites. Bacteria and viruses carry and transmit through their bites. These tiny horrors spread a buffet of diseases. Despite malaria, there's also yellow fever, which, just like with the tsetse fly, hindered European colonization efforts in tropical regions. The scariest one of them is the Anopheles mosquito. It's the apex predator of the insect world. It's responsible for more fatal outcomes and illnesses than any other insect. So how do we combat these tiny yet mighty foes? With prevention. We need to eliminate standing water in our surroundings and practice mosquito control measures. We must always stay one step ahead to protect ourselves and our communities from dangerous insects. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.